Alarms Troubleshooting This video covers the basics of the Sapphire Alarms. For full instructions and information on pump operation and alarms, refer to the Sapphire's user manual, found on our website. The Sapphire has four levels of alarms. Level 1. The infusion stops and pump alerts that it will shut down in a few minutes. For example, depleted battery alarm. Level 2. The infusion stops and cannot be reactivated. For example, pump mechanism error. Level 3. The infusion stops and can be reactivated. For example, occlusion alarm. Level 4. Messages. The infusion is not interrupted. For example, door open. For all alarms, the pump displays the issue detected and instructions on what to do. For level 3 alarms, the detected issue requires resolution before the infusion can be resumed. We will focus on troubleshooting level 3 alarms. When a resolvable issue is detected, the pump alerts with the red blinking light, auditory signal, and a display of the issue detected with instructions how to resolve it. The auditory signal can be temporarily silenced. Press mute on the toolbar. Read and follow the instructions. Once the issue is resolved, press OK to dismiss the alarm. Resume the infusion by pressing Request Continue and confirm the message by pressing OK. The infusion is running again. Let's review an example. The pump alarms for the upstream occlusion. The infusion stopped, the red light is blinking, the speaker is beeping, and the screen displays the detected issue and troubleshooting instructions. The beeping can be silenced for two minutes. While the issue is understood and resolved, press the mute button. Look for an occlusion, unclamp the set, and ensure that there are no other occlusions or kinks on the line. Press OK to dismiss the alarm. The screen shows the infusion is still paused. To resume the infusion, press the Request Continue button on the toolbar and OK on the confirmation message. Let's review another example. The pump alarms for air in the line. The infusion stopped, the red light is blinking, the speaker is beeping, and the screen displays the detected issue and troubleshooting instructions. In this case, the pump also offers a quick access to the resolution with the Prime button on the toolbar. Press the Mute button on the toolbar. Look for air bubbles in the line. Disconnect the set from the patient and prime the set. Press the Prime button, ensure the patient is disconnected and press Prime again. Verify all air has been removed from the administration set. Now that the issue has been resolved, the alarm can be dismissed. Press the OK button on the toolbar. The screen shows the infusion is still paused. To continue the infusion, Press the Request Continue button on the toolbar and confirm the action by pressing OK. The infusion is running again. An upstream occlusion alarm indicates an occlusion between the medication container and the pump. Potential causes include using non-vented spike or leaving the vent closed when infusing from a bottle or vial, the upstream clamp is closed, or there is a kink at the connection between the container and the set or above the cassette. A general check for occlusion alarm indicates that most likely the infusion started with clamps closed, without specifying where. A downstream occlusion alarm indicates an occlusion between the pump and the patient. Potential causes include kink or warped set when carried in a bag, or accidental pressing on the set. Note that a pump can be configured to allow 40 seconds for a downstream occlusion to be resolved and automatically restart the infusion. Ask your administrator to enable the occlusion auto restart feature. This concludes our review on the Sapphire alarms and troubleshooting. Remember, everything you need for troubleshooting is presented on the pump display. Read and follow the instructions for quick resolution.